I had a picture of a man at the, uh, at the museum in Coy Island. The man was wearing a white cap and... Okay, that's, he is the founder of Dakar. But uh, the name of the city, Dakar, is a mispronunciation. Wow. So, right? Yes, ma'am. I'm going to ask them to I'm going to ask them to check. I'm going to ask Dakar, D-A-K-A-R, is a mispronunciation of Ndakaru. Ndakaru means Ndak, means live, and Ro means safe. So anyone who got into Dakar was safe of whatever he might have done in his life, or whoever was running after him, uh, chasing him. So Ndakaru was protected by seven fortifications. And the last one was uh, destroyed in 1918 by French people. <clears throat> and um, why did we do so? You know, we have a s ethnic group system. In each area, there's an ethnic group that's uh, the majority. So uh, in the northern part and central part of Senegal, you have Wolof. And uh, in the northern part, you have the Fulanis, the Mandingo down, sa down south, and uh, the, the Jola and the, um, the, the Sierra in the center. And all those ethnic groups have a hierarchy. You have kings and nobles. And, and nobles are uh, herdsmen and, uh, and um, farmers. And below them, you have the, the, um, yeah, the castes. You have uh, the castes, main castes are Guriots, we call them Hesuchelos. You have uh, uh, blacksmiths, wood carvers, we have them in all the ethnic groups, but the Jola. And um, when somebody was, um, and, and the slaves, when somebody was a slave in a group and did not no want no longer be a slave, he just went away, come into Dakar. Because in Dakar, you have all those um, hierarchy, that hierarchy, but uh, when you come in, they welcome you, no matter what you did, where you're from. They give you a piece of land to live in, a piece of land for farming, and they organize a fishing um, the process. They organize fishing. All the fish they get, they just sell it and give you the money to help you out. That's why they call the city the Karaw. And uh, unfortunately, that, 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 kind, that mindset uh, had Europeans. When they came in, we just welcomed them, give them land, and they even bought part of it, uh, and they built the fortress that they called Dakar, D-A-K-A-R. And uh, Dakar is set in a, in a way. We have three parts in the city. We have the downtown, we'll see later on. And the second part is the Medina. The Medina was a ghetto around the downtown. After an outbreak of plague, the, uh, the colonial authority just moved all the natives around uh, living in the ghetto to an area out of the city, the downtown, and that we call the Medina, M-E-D-I-N-A. We'll get there too. And we have several other Lebu village. Lebu are the people who uh, founded Dakar. They are fishermen mainly. And uh, Lebu is comes from Nubu, N E B O U, those who hide. Because they had themselves in the peninsula of Dakar and are hiding people who ran off. And that's why, normally, I told you in the beginning that um, people's ethnic. People's ethnic, group, people's ethnic group depends, uh, uh, people's name, family name depends on their ethnic group. I, I told you, I am gay as Usman, we are Wolof and Lebu. Uh, Bas is Fal, he's uh, here from uh, St. Louis up north. You know? And we have, uh, you would have a Jata, Jata is from Kasama in the south. You might have uh, Sanya. He's a, a Mandingo. So just people giving his family name, you know what ethnic group they belong to. 
and but in the uh, in the Lebu ethnic group, as far as they were hiding people, everybody came in with their family names. So you find amongst the Lebu people who have names from um, Sere ethnic group or uh, Jola ethnic group or Mandingo ethnic group. Then we don't have to be very very Okay. So, um, the cars, as I told you in the beginning, is a small, is the smallest region of Senegal, 550 square kilometers. But we have one third of the population. Five million people are living permanently in this area. And you have 12 million people in land. And all, uh, our most of part of our population is located on the western side, because the eastern side is rather uh, dry and doesn't, uh, doesn't rain a lot. It's the eastern side, yes. It's more dry. Yes. The eastern and north is more dry. Okay. And um, as I told you, we are liberal. We are Wolof speakers. And you have Wolof is like English. You find a lot of words. I mean, same. Yeah. People, a lot of people speaking the same languages, but they have some, the stress is different from here. The accent is, so we, we have that. And uh, it's very close to English too, definitely, because I know words that are definitely uh, Wolof. I can say they are Wolof words, but to knock somebody out, to knock down. We, we use the same word, okay. knock, it means to, to beat somebody. Oh, wow. And definitely, when you say um, the cats, we have the same word to say the same thing. Yeah, um, death. He's dead. Same. Dead. Same. You, Dana. Yeah, he's dead. Death. He's dead. Dana. And so a lot of words like that, uh, we find them in the uh, world languages, very close to English. I think that uh, we colonized them a long time ago. European came in, they bought, I mean, they were welcome, we give them land, but when they um, started using the harbor of Dakar, the port, they needed a, a fort to protect the harbor. So uh, the king of Dakar, the one you took a picture of uh, in the museum, sold them uh, the uh, independence drive, so calling it, uh, and they built up, um, they built a, a, um, a fort that they called Dakar Fort. It was built by Prote, who was a French captain. Uh, they paid the king iron bars. We need iron bars to have weapons like this. Because uh, when um, our our our, um, our blacksmith can work process. You don't have. I'm sorry. Sorry. No, no, I, you know, uh, with the process of iron, I mean the the, the 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 native way of processing iron is very hard. Have to heat the the, the core first to get the, the metal and work the metal afterwards. So when we had the opportunity to get to get uh, iron right from the uh, Europeans, we he sold them uh, that part of the land for iron bars. Here we are at the uh, 
Pasteur Institute section. Bye, madame.